What's the crack lads? Welcome back to the channel and we are going to be taking a look at Xavi Alonso today. So as usual with our builds that we do we give you two versions and then we'll give you a GP alternative that stacks up very similar to Xavi Alonso and how he'll play on the pitch. Hours and 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 hours of testing goes into this. So we have taken a look at Xavi Alonso here multiple times. We do like his card. I do like his card quite a lot. Um, he does have the booster, obviously. That's going to give him a 92 lofted pass straight off the rip with 89 low pass. Just hide my webcam there. And that booster is going to be the pass and plus two. Dennis Irwin also has that. If you've missed that video, check it out. But this guy, lads, he has a couple of... I won't say weaknesses, right? But he has a couple of strange kind of decisions made with this card, right? Most notably, he only has standard form, which is a bit strange. He also is very, very, very slow. Now, I know Xavi Alonso wasn't a speedster. Look, he's not Mbappe, vum, 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 right? But acceleration at 60 is just a little bit too low, I think, for a guy like this, especially if you've got other players that are similar to him that have got, you know, the same kind of build and the same play style as him. Obviously, he's down as a 24-year-old here, so I definitely think he should have had at least 60, you know, 5, 66 acceleration that you could actually have the option of boosting it up a little bit. He's also missing a couple of skills, right, which are kind of weird, right? So he's down as an anchorman, but he's missing blocker. I know he wasn't a defensive giant at, uh, at Liverpool, because Mascherano was there um, a lot of the time doing that kind of heavy lifting in midfield. But he's also missing, you know, um, what's the other one that he's missing there? True passing he's missing as well. Um, man marking he's missing for a DMF anchorman is kind of a bit weird, right? So I know he's all about pace um, or he's all about passing and not pace or defensiveness or anything like that, right? But let's get on to the card, right? So we do have the first build of him here that we're going to take a look at. Now, this build is for an attacking version of him, right? So we've actually maxed out his dexterity with 13, 11 into dribbling, 8 into passing, and 4 into lower body, right? That means that we're going to have speed at 70, acceleration at 75. We're going to have his balance, stamina, and physical contact around the 78, 80 mark. And then, of course, it's all about the low pass and the lofted pass. The lofted pass is going to go to about 102, going to have low pass at 99, and then the rest of his skills are going to, like, complement that, right? Now, I would say on this card, lads, if you are looking at making him extremely, like, overpowered... I would probably make him a defensive version, right? We're going to show you that build in a second. I would throw a blocker, man marking, and true passing so that he can dictate kind of Pirlo-esque from the back while still having blocker, interception, and sliding tackle, right? He has everything else that you could possibly want. Double touch is kind of wasted on a card like this because you do have enough technique to be able to get in around, you know, kind of and be nimble enough, right? But the second build that we've actually gone for is a defensive juggernaut. Now, this goes to 96 overall. I think you're wasting your time if you're not training him similar to this, right? We've still boosted up his passing, dribbling, and dexterity, but we've kind of complimented what he does as a card, and we're not trying to make him a fast DMF. If you're used to hassling and harrying and, like, creating lots of turnovers and interceptions rather than dictating the play and control and possession, Xabi Alonso's not going to be for you, right? Stick to the likes of Kante, stick to the likes of Makalele if you have him. You know, there's a couple of players that you can buy for that de defensive midfielder role, right? Xabi Alonso is a more methodical player, right? Which is why we've boosted up them a little bit, but we've really gone to town on his defensive awareness, his defensive engagement. They're going to be nearly maxed out. Tackling is going to be 90 plus as well. And his physical contact and kicking power are going to be very, very high as well. And his low pass and lofted pass are still going to be in the 90s. But the big thing I would say is, right, is that Xabi Alonso's card is very, very decent, but there is a card in here for a GP alternative that if you are looking to, you know, save a few coins, right? Because we know, look, these players here that you see, they are going to cost you 100 coins or 900 coins for a 10-pack. You've got 150 in it, so your chances are quite slim to get them, right? So I would say take a look at this guy if you're looking to stay free to play um, and looking to get the Xabi Alonso experience, so to speak, right, with a GP alternative here. So this guy, Azubi Mendy, he recently got a player of the week type card. Very, very, very solid player. He's got 39 levels to train. He's only 100,000 GP, which is nothing. One touch pass, weighted pass, area superiority, sliding tackle, interception, low lofted and fighting spirit. Excellent passing stats, excellent defensive stats. He's down as an anchorman. He's got a wavering form. In many ways, he's a better card than Alonso. Um, obviously, that's going to be dependent on, you know, whether you think that Alonso is worth spinning for or not. Obviously, the legends and the boosters are always going to be the best versions of the cards. But I've always said, lads, you can actually get to Division 1 and compete in Division 1 
with very standard players, if you're a very comfortable player on the ball and you, you know, find how to play the game, you find what works for you and you're able to limit mistakes. That's the, how the big players and the pro players go on 50, 60 win streaks. They make no mistakes, so they don't give you a chance to actually, you know, hit him on the break or anything, right? But this guy, Zubi Mendy, lads, is a beast, right? He's down as a defensive kind of minded player here. We're going to boost him up here, passing 10, defending 15, and then dribbling dexterity 3 and 5, lower body 7, and aerial strength 3, right? That's going to give us a faster based player than Alonso with more skills, okay? And we're also going to have the defense very similar. The passing isn't going to be as high, but if you can't pass with a player that's got 80 plus low passing uh, or 90 plus low passing, um, then, you know, you probably just need to learn about the angles and how to cut angles and stuff like that. And even saying that, lads, if you get Xabi Alonso, right, no matter how good he is, right, no matter how good he is, it doesn't really make a difference because you will still get still get intercepted with a 100 rated low pass. It's just built into the game that way just to have interceptions as a forefront of the game when you have the ball. You have to be able to intercept the ball. Um, so it doesn't matter if you've got Xabi Alonso Plender or Harry Maguire Plender, lads. It doesn't really matter unless you know how to pass and cut the angles. You can limit a lot of mistakes that way when there is a skill gap to the passing if you're able to control the tempo of the game and the space. But that is it for me, lads. I will be back quite soon. Don't forget to check out the live streams. We will be live streaming this week. And if you're enjoying the content, don't forget to subscribe. We're on the road to 40k subscribers. Thank you all for the support. Big giveaway at 40k. Until then, see you in a bit.